The report comes just over a month after the firing of Colonel Brad Rice, the governor and his chief human resources officer detailing layers of issues in leadership and policy. New insight into the firing of the man Governor Pete Ricketts chose to lead the Nebraska State Patrol, then fired this summer. Colonel Rice failed to live up to my expectations with regard to how he was to lead that organization. A 15-page report released Thursday details catalysts for Colonel Brad Rice's dismissal. One finding that Colonel Rice interfered with the conduct of internal investigations on at least four occasions. One of which involved this case from 2016 where a state trooper in western Nebraska strikes a woman in the face with the butt of a rifle. Six other NSP troopers have been placed on leave. The report notes members of command staff said Colonel Rice downplayed the significance and wasn't interested in a criminal inquiry into trooper misconduct. Another finding involving that same incident, as well as a separate use of force investigation, notes problems throughout the chain of command in the reporting of events. Conduct that gave rise to a reasonable suspicion of dishonesty or dereliction of duty on the part of the chain of command that oversaw the troopers that were involved in those use of force, the application of force, and the subsequent investigation into those incidents. The report also says the NSP's sexual harassment and workplace discrimination policies are overall insufficient, indicating Colonel Rice fell short on investigating allegations of workplace harassment. An allegation of workplace harassment was far below our expectations for the response of leaders in state government to allegations of that degree of severity. And one final note related to policy and procedure within the NSP. The report says the State Patrol has failed to notify the Crime Commission when officers are terminated for wrongful conduct, possibly allowing for those troopers to get jobs elsewhere. Reporting live tonight, Alexandra Stone, KETV News Watch 7.